Would you want one of the other girls to do it, Mom? I think that possibly maybe I'll fall for you. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. I love it. Yes, there's a chance that I fall wow. quite hard over you. I've seen the paths that your eyes wander down. I want to come to. I think that possibly maybe I'm falling for you. No one understands me quite like you do Through all of the shadowy corners of me I never knew just what it was About this old coffee shop I love so much All of the while I never About this old coffee shop I love so much All of the world I never I think that possibly maybe I'm falling for you Yes, there's a chance that I've fallen quite hard over you I've seen the waters that make your eyes shine Now I'm shining too Because, oh because I've fallen quite hard over you We're all honored to participate in this wonderful event with Juliet and Colin who will today take each other in marriage. I, Colin, promise you, Juliet. Be your constant friend. To be your constant friend. Your faithful partner. Your faithful partner. And your love from this day forward. And your love from this day forward. I promise to be your faithful partner. I promise to be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. And in joy as well as in sorrow. And in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor you and respect you. To honor you and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you as long as we both shall live. And to cherish you as long as we both shall live. With this ring. With this ring. I join my life to yours. I join my life to yours. With this ring. I join my life to yours. I join my life to yours. Forever in love. Forever in love. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up upon you and give you peace, both now and forever. Amen. And now, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. And friends, it gives me great pleasure, and it's a great honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Colin and Julia O'Brien. You may kiss the bride. If I didn't know you, I'd if I couldn't have you, I'd rather be what, what do we do now? Yeah. <laughs>
I remember doing the uh, list, it was like 32 John O'Briens on the list, but anyway. That's my one wish I have is when they do have a child, they don't name John O'Brien. But, but they became a great couple and they're individually they are perfect. But as a couple, they are great. As I've watched their relationship grow, I've seen countless reasons why these two are so perfect for one another. Whether they're dancing at a dive bar or in the kitchen, cuddling with their sweet kitty Wisco, or cheering for Wisconsin or Winterfell, <laughs> these two are destined to have a life full of love, laughter, and excitement. And I'm sorry, Julia, like it or not, you're Irish now. <laughs> What really stuck out to me from that time living with them is that I got to see the effect that Julia had on Colin. And he wasn't, you know, she had changed him. He wasn't any better or any worse. <laughs> Maybe, well, yeah, no, he was a little better. <laughs> but he was serious, and he was serious about his entire life, and I truly believe that that was due to Julia's impact, because he knew that this was it. This was the one, and you only get one chance to do this. Um, with all that said, uh, if everyone could please raise a glass. Colin, I love you. And Julia, I'm so happy to officially welcome you to the O'Brien family. To Colin and Julia. No, no, no. 